Hi, my name is John Timmons from Glasgow and Computer Services. Several people have come to me and asked me, is there any way that they can compress their holiday videos so that they can upload them to YouTube? They tell me that they've got some good video shots, but when they try to upload it to YouTube, it's way, way, way too big and would take too long for their uh, broadband connection. So here's a simple way to reduce the size of your videos and still maintain the quality. The first thing you need to do is start up your browser, load up Google and type in media coder and click on search and media coder .net should be the first one in the list so click on that and it'll uh, open the main media coder website then click on download and go down to get media coder and choose media coder edition click on media coder full edition and here's where it's slightly confusing the version you're looking for is media coder x86 edition that version should run fine on windows xp windows vista or windows 7 and when you click on that it'll download an exe file to your hard disk and when you click on that exe file uh, it'll start off an auto install which is fairly straightforward and when it's finished you'll be left with a media coder icon on your desktop so once you've got that loaded if you double click and that loads media coder it takes a little while to do now when you first start media coder you need to just tell it which file you want to convert so if you click on the plus add file and I'm going to take this file here this is a, um, a, a skiing video which is about uh, two minutes long approximately so we'll load that in there now one of the things you have to be careful of when you're uploading videos to YouTube is YouTube has an issue with the synchronization of voice and video and if you don't use what's known as the right encoder for audio it can cause problems so one of the things that you need to do is go down to the tabs here and select the audio tab and halfway down you'll find a button that says encoder and there's a drop down box there if you click on the drop down box and go down and select helix mp3 i found that that audio encoder makes sure that there is no issues with audio synchronization so that's something you only need to do once so now that we've selected our our um, video here all we have to do is click on start and this will kick off the coding process okay it should open a window now and you'll see it going through the video frame by frame okay so you can see the frames going along there now it's telling us it's going to take approximately four minutes so I'm going to pause the video there for a second and we'll come back to it when it's getting closer to be finished okay so here we are we're just about finished and it should have a box pop up here now and tell us that it has completed which we have so we'll click on OK there and that's the um, the compression done now we go and have a look at the files there's the original file there and it's approximately 117 megs big and here is the new version of the file which is being compressed into MPEG4 format and that's 16 megabytes big so there's a huge level of compression that's gone on there which will make it much much quicker to upload up to YouTube also for the purposes of either viewing it on the computer or viewing it on YouTube there is no perceivable difference in the quality of the video I hope you found this useful my name is John Timmons from Glass Gorman Computer Services thank you very much